What's up, people? Today we are finishing up the African Pokedex with Pokemon from Gens 4 through 8. If you're new to the series or if you missed part 1, links are in the description below for previous episodes. Don't forget to drop a like and a sub if you enjoy the content. And now, without further ado, let's jump into this. Chatot. The masked lovebird or yellow collared lovebird which Chatot is based on is a small species of parrot native to northeast Tanzania. Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. Due to the line's focus on biting and the fact that they are dragons with shark-like features, it seems that they are a physical representation of the dinosaur Carcharodontosaurus, whose name means shark-toothed lizard. The earliest fossils of this species were found in northern Africa in places like Algeria and Egypt. Riolu and Lucario. This is an easy one. Based on the Egyptian god of funerals and the dead, Anubis, who is said to have the head of an African golden wolf. Hippopotas and Hippowdon. Based on the hippopotamus, native to sub-Saharan Africa. Finion and Luminion. They are based on freshwater butterfly fish, which live in slightly acidic standing bodies of water in West Africa. Archaeus, the god of all Pokemon, is obviously inspired by the various gods of our world. In particular, it bears resemblance to Apis, an old Egyptian deity taking the form of a bull. Patrat and Watchog. I was so close to putting them in North America for its groundhog origin, but I think the meerkat aspect of their design outweighs it. Meerkats live in Southern Africa in places like Botswana and Namibia. Let me know in the comments below whether you prefer the groundhog or the meerkat inspiration for these Pokemon. Blitzel and Zebstrika. Zebras are from Africa. Didn't have to look that one up. I did look it up, but I didn't have to. Woobat and Swoobat. Based on heart-nosed bats which are found only in and around the Horn of Africa. Sandile, Crocorock, and Crocodile. They are slender snouted crocodiles, which are native to sub Saharan Africa. Darumaka and Darmanitan. While its name implies orangutan origins, its appearance makes it seem more like a gorilla, which inhabit the forests of sub Saharan Africa. Drudagon. The red headed rock agma is where Drudagon gets its design. It's a blue lizard with a red head native to, you guessed it, sub Saharan Africa. Vullaby and Mandibuzz, lappet-faced vultures which live all throughout Africa. Chespin, Quilladin, and Chestnut, a hedgehog with a shell resembling a chestnut. The most common species of hedgehog taken as pets is the African pygmy hedgehog, recognizable by its white fur which matches chestnuts. Fennekin, Brakeson, and Delphox, this line is based on the fennec fox native to the Sahara Desert. Fletchling, Fletchinder, and Talonflame. The peregrine falcon, origin for this evil line, is the most widespread large bird on Earth. Great, so now what? Well, researchers believe that the species most likely originated in Eurasia or Africa. That narrows it down a little bit. Looking at their distribution today though, it seems like they only visit Europe and Asia temporarily during certain seasons, but have most permanent homes throughout Africa. Litleo and Pyroar, based on African lions. Young Goose and Gumshoes. Like Zangoose, these mongoose Pokemon belong in Africa. Passimian. It's a black and white ruffed lemur, endemic to the island of Madagascar. Minior. Same origin as Lunaton and Solrock, that being a meteorite, the oldest one found in Egypt. Solgaleo. It has a lot of inspirations, as legendaries do, but the most compelling one to me is the Eye of Ra, said to be a lion that is the sun's protector in Egyptian mythology. Zaraora. A lightning-powered serval, a wild cat native to Africa. Meltan and Melmetal. Their bodies are made of liquid mercury, a substance that was found in Egyptian tombs that date from 1500 BC. Grookey, Thwacky, and Rillaboom. Like I discussed with Darmanitan, gorillas live in the forests of Africa. Toxel and Toxtricity. An amalgamation of many different lizard traits, specifically Mwanza flat-headed rock agmas from Tanzania, Rwanda, and Kenya, as well as Namib rock agmas from Namibia and Angola. Pink Urchin. Based on a sea urchin, specifically the burrowing urchin. On the Wikipedia page for the burrowing urchin, I learned a new term type locality, which is apparently the location where something is first identified. The type locality of the burrowing urchin is Mauritius, an island nation off the southeast coast of the African continent. Dreepy, Dracloak, and Dragapult. They are undead Diplocolises, an extinct genus of amphibians from the late Permian period of Morocco. And finally, Zarud. Inspired by baboons and mandrills, both native to Africa and both known for their violent natures, contributing to Zarud's dark typing. And that wraps up the African Pokedex. Let me know in the comments what your favorite origin was from this set. 
With this, we've completed the top four most populated continents, Asia, Europe, North America, and now Africa. Which of the remaining three do you think came in fifth place? Once again, do me a favor and drop a like. It really does help the channel and lets me know you're enjoying what you're seeing. And if you haven't already, subscribe to join the Tang Gang and hit the bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and until we meet again, later, people!